What's up guys and welcome to our Dark Aether series here on my third account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Fire saying he wants to do the RPG on Mauer. So that's what we're doing today. He also says we have to upgrade our energy mine, but I think I'm going to save upgrading stuff for later. I kind of want to do a challenge to be able to unlock upgrading, but we'll keep that on the back burner. If you have any weapon challenge or upgrade suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below. The top comment will be what we do next. And I'll have a comment down there as well with all the weapons that we've already done. But uh, for right now, it's just the 1911 the RPG. So you got every weapon in the game to pick from. But to get our RPG Gold Viper, we have to get 1,500 kills with it, which doesn't seem too bad. Two or more enemies rapidly 50 times, which should be pretty easy with an explosive. Five or more enemies with a single shot 50 times. 1,500 kills with the RPG while it's pack-a-punched. 10 special or elite eliminations. 10 kills rapidly 10 times. And 20 or more consecutive kills with the RPG without getting hit 10 times. Honestly, it doesn't seem too bad. The only problem is I don't got PHD leveled up, but uh, we'll make do. All right, here we go. Flying on into Mauer. And hopefully this goes smoothly. Like I mentioned, I don't have PhD leveled up, so I can still do self-explosive damage. But I think if I just train up enough before I shoot a rocket, I should be fine. But within like this first round or two, I should just be able to melee all the zombies. But recently, uh, it seems like a cease and desist has gone out to that mod tool that has been kicking people and like crashing people's games. So hopefully I won't have to keep the account name and everything, you know, secret or blurred out anymore. Not that that's helping anyways, because uh, the name shows up in a hundred different spots in this game. The UI is insane. So uh, I I've missed a bunch in like our first video with it and then another one. And a lot of people are telling me just turn on code names. I do have code names on, but that's only for other people in the game. You can turn on code names, but still see your own name. Like it, it won't block it out. I, I, I doubt they had this issue in mind when making code names. I'm sure that's just like, just like uh, streamer mode for when you're playing like in multiplayer lobbies and things like that. But I do appreciate the, the suggestion. But hopefully we won't have to keep it uh, private for long because uh, honestly, this name's kind of funny. But we're rocking Tesla Storm right now for a fuel upgrade because I honestly don't know what else I would use. Maybe Aether Shroud, but I don't know. Tesla Storm is kind of like Aether Shroud, but uh, you can still get a few points off of it because it's not like aether shroud makes you like invincible from zombies you can still take damage just they won't see you but with tesla storm they still see you and you can still take damage but they can't like swing at you if you're close by you're only gonna take like projectile damage or like damage from elites and specials while getting points for you know every time you walk by a zombie so tesla storm is probably our best bet you know with nothing leveled up and i actually like not having a bowie knife for this camo grind it's it's dumb because it's only like what a 30 zombies kills like per game extra that i'm getting but all that counts towards uh you know our camo progress every little bit helps and i'm still not even a high enough level to buy a self revive so if we go down here uh it's only gonna be tombstone to be able to get us back up after we burn our first self revive Okay, we're getting to the point where I actually have to start training. It's round four. His melees aren't doing anything right now. Okay. Launcher seems to not be doing anything either. Ooh, I have no idea how I'm even alive. I, I made probably some of the worst training decisions of my life right there. And it still worked out for me. Damn, the rockets aren't even killing in one shot. This thing's kind of boo-boo. But going back to what I was talking about earlier and how I kind of want to wait until I upgrade things... I feel like I want to earn it because going back and like playing on my main account and everything after playing on this, seeing how like OP everything is and you know how fast it scales, I kind of want to like earn the ability to upgrade things, you know? I really want to try to get to round 100, but it's so tough. Like I, I don't even know how to get past like round 60. Like I know it's basically the same thing once you get like past health cap, but it is difficult as hell there's our stroke camo though first camo of the day so i'm debating whether or not to like keep trying to go for around 100 but the only bad thing is is that i can't stream doing it you know because i'm i i don't want to get this account like taken out there's our wasteland camo because i feel like that, that would be a fun thing to stream is me trying to get around 100 with no upgrades but i know those fucking loser ass gremlins that still got like burger king wrappers on their floor are gonna you know be sitting there rubbing their nipples to me like getting crashed by them and i was thinking about like trying to make an overlay to like blur out my name and everything you know like i've been doing for these videos but i'm still missing spots every time i do it like a, a name pops up in a random spot 
every single time. So I'll, I'll just have to blur everything but like my crosshair and the webcam. I'll be looking crazy like this. But I'm gonna ask for your guys' help. If you, if you can think of any kind of strategy that I could do with no upgrades, like whatever map, whatever spot, whatever weapon that I could do to try to get run 100 easier, I'd be down to do it. I think Penthouse is probably like the fastest bet with the DIE Shockwave, but I just cannot do anything. Honestly, I haven't tried out Ring of Fire too much uh, with it being like non-upgraded. I think that might help out a little bit because you still get that bonus damage. But I know for sure I'm just going to go down like within seconds in Penthouse. Like if my DIE runs out of ammo and I have to use like the, the sucky suck. Like maybe I should wait until I'm a level uh, like 55 or 54 or whatever I need to be to get self revives and try it again because i feel like I, I can make it pretty far with no upgrades just as long as i can buy a self revive because it just sucks having no way to get yourself back up because quick revive don't do it tombstone you're basically like it's a death sentence and then self revives drop so rarely that i mean crafting them's not too op at least for this game i feel like that's fair so maybe once i unlock the self revives i'll, I'll give it another attempt but the other option was do all the Easter eggs to be able to unlock upgrading, unlock in, you know, quotation marks. I'm, I'm setting these difficulty things myself, but doing all those Easter eggs, we just don't have to like initiate the pact or activate the pack. So we don't get like the super Easter egg reward because I've had that reward on for like the last, I don't know, year and a half. It's fun coming back here and not really having too much. And you know, the, the difficulty that it brings and there's our Tempest. This RPG is like not good at all. We need to pack punch this thing like right away, especially with how little ammo we have. Can I just beat this Tempest up. That's not really doing a whole lot either. Fuck it, dude. We ball. There we go. Give me that fuse. Oh, Peck's here? Get the fuck up, Peck. All right, let's just uh, try to work our way to pack a punch. This thing needs a boost right now. What's going on, zombies? Glad you guys came pre-damaged and it still doesn't do anything to you. This RPG's weak. Let's uh, flick on the power switch. Oh no, not the fuses. Okay, there's one. Give me the other one, Tempest. Coward. Come on. Go ahead and drop it. Bad Tempest. Zombies, I need you guys to get out of the way. This is not for you. It's just between me and the Tempest. There we go. There's our Growl Camo. Two special or elites. I love how early you get these special or elite eliminations on Maurer. That would have taken like 20 rounds on D-Machina. And power is back on. Sick nasty. And we just need 500 more points to get Pack-A-Punch. I think uh, the remaining zombies in the round might be able to help me out here. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Disciple, come on out. Go ahead. Activate the boys. Insane smoke circle. This is such a cool reveal for a new enemy. I about lost my mind when I saw this for the first time. But can you just go ahead and die for me, Disciple? Did I break his mask? I think I did. Stay still. It's very hard to aim this RPG. Disciples are actually like the perfect counter to the RPG. So I can't hit them for shit. Dude, stop moving. All right, now I'm out of ammo and I'm pissed. How am I missing so badly? Ooh. Okay, I can already tell this grind is going to be a little tough. Like literally upgrade PhD, use any of these explosives. It's a non-issue. You can just shoot at the floor and not even think. Without it though... You need to be like a, a pretty healthy distance away from these zombies before you shoot it. But this is good practice. They're making me earn this pack-a-punch. Now just go ahead and just be deceased. Let's pack-a-punch this bad boy. Take a peek at it with the pack camo. Beautiful. I think the, f the first camo on this map is probably the best. The first pack-a-punch camo. I think the third one's really cool, but it just has this weird like, I don't know, like poop brown that they mix in with all the vibrant colors. It like doesn't mesh well. But this right here, the slurp juice in the red... Kind of crazy. Ooh, there's our amphibian camo. All these other camos are going to fly by. Getting 1,500 kills, that's probably going to take the longest for us. It's also nice having like multiple rockets in. Just the, the accessibility or the, the convenience of not get, having to reload after every shot's nice. I got to not sh like hit myself. I think jackrabbits are actually going to be one of our toughest things to get. So I have to get 20 kills without taking any damage and that includes like self-inflicted. I'll get cryo freeze, why not? So I think my plan is, is the same thing that I did with melee weapons on this map way back in the day is to just train around the tank, get all the zombies lined up, and then I hit the rope there up to the Wonder Fizz, and then they'll all have to climb up that way, but most of them won't be able to climb up right away, so I'll just be able to, you know, hit them with a quick little rocket. Actually, instead of taking the rope, these zombies are pretty slow. I can kind of just run right over here and do one of these. There we go. Quick boundary camo. Any other camos there? Oh, the acidic. That's what we like to see. And threshold. And decidence. 
or decadence, whatever. Still can't read. I guess with the little cash we earned, give me jug. This is fun right here. Do a quick little run in a circle, get them all tied together and bam, sleep. Oh wait, some of them just fell over. Double sleep. Oh, speaking of double, get double points, get the test storm going and you guys are gonna go ahead and fund my perks. Oh, we already got our banish camo done. So we got two or more zombies killed, all complete. And there's our five or more with a single shot. What else would be helpful here? Speed cola, perhaps? We'll grab that. Oh, there's our Panzer. More like Panzy, eat a rocket, bitch. Oh no, he's kind of tanking these. There's another one. That's our fourth special or elite. Let's see if we can upgrade our armor at all. Let's get it to two. Get our RPG to green. And that's about all we can do. Ooh. Not so tough now, are you, Disciple? You're only a two-shot kill now, coward. What else could help an RPG? Uh, I guess we'll get Quick Revive and Stamina up. I forgot that Quick Revive gives you, like, health regen faster. I thought that was, like, an upgrade. Turns out that's just what you get default with it. Oh, this thing already needs Pack-a-Punched again. Why is the RPG this weak? The N79 is, like, miles better than this. Speaking of miles, I just saw the new Spider-Man. No spoilers. Movie's fucking sweet. I think that the Into the Spider-Verse or the Spider-Verse movies are probably some of my favorite of all time. I wonder if we're gonna get all 1,500 of our kills pack a punched in non before we get all of our special or elite eliminations. Cause it's annoying kind of waiting for uh, more of a specific type of zombie to spawn to get it done. As, as you guys saw with our 1911 video. We got to such a high round with just a 1911 waiting for more Megatons to spawn. At least here it'll be a little faster, but come on. Spawn them in now. Let's get this over with. Oh, there we go. All I have to do is bitch and moan and shit happens. Come here, Panzer. Eat that. Eat some more. I got a buffet of rockets for you, buddy. I just need like one more shot in this guy. There we go. That's six of them. But well, we got enough to grab pack two, so I'm doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out a prediction. I think we'll be done with this by round 28. Might be a lofty goal, but we'll see. Ooh, did we just one shot him? No, we did not. We got a calling card. Wait, how do we already have our launcher? Oh, okay. That actually makes sense. I kept seeing launcher masteries pop up while we're using the DIE shockwave. I don't know why it counts as the same thing, but apparently it does. So we already have our launcher master calling card and we don't even have this thing gold viper yet. Oh, there's our conviction camo. Don't need to worry about getting hit anymore. I think I just need to kill like a few zombies like in one rocket. So I need to get this thing like powerful. I'm going to save up and get this pack three. This is also such a pretty map. Even with like all the rain and it being at night, it's somehow still like pretty lit up and just very nice looking. Like with all the neon signs, you know, the buildings are on fire. They have like the, the searchlights coming down and like the street lights. This is really a good map. Gotta be one of my favorites. Oh no. If I'm going out, I'm taking myself out. <laughs> We're getting a camo on the way down. I can't believe one fucking light pole took me out. I was just talking about how nice you light poles are too. Bitch ass pole. Not like I really lost too much. I think I still have all the perks that I had, right? What could I be missing? Yeah, who cares? I should probably grab tombstone though. That way I have uh, somewhat of a chance to get back up. There we go. All right, I think we're good. Okay, I appreciate these tormentor rounds when I'm going for high rounds. When I'm grinding camos, they fucking suck. These are pointless rounds. These are just annoying. But it is nice to get like a free round when going for round 100. Like I see a Tormentor round pop up. I'm like, oh, sweet. We're getting through this round in like 20 seconds. But if these counted as like special or elites, then this would be a goaded round overall. That way I can get some nice camo progress during it. But no, I just get six kills for a round. Is that a disciple I hear? Come down here, buddy. I just want to talk, but I can send my microphone to you. Oh, shit. Okay, well... I said I, I needed a tombstone shadow for a chance to get back up. And now here comes that chance. We're going to use it. Where am I spawning at? Oh, not too far away. Let's go. That was easy enough. And the achievement for getting it is, or like whatever calling card I just got or whatever, it was called Who's Who. And I think that's a cool little callback. Never really used the Who's Who perk when I played on like, what was it? Die Rise? That's a nice reference. I really need to buy Tombstone back though, because uh, we almost immediately went down right after. Those disciples do not fuck around and they need to die immediately. I am not messing with these guys anymore. Oh, now we got a Panzer spawning in. What's next? Actually, this is everything I was asking for, so I can't even complain. Oh, we got 500 kills while it's Pack-a-Punch now. Fuckadelic, also a sweet camo. I just need that disciple to come on over here. Stop hiding behind your army, coward. I'm calling a lot of things coward today, but it's true. There we go. Rising Tiger. I think that's our last one, right? It's funny how the Blue Tiger and the Rising Tiger camos are like a reference to that. The blue and gold or the, the white and gold and the blue and black dress. Personally, 
I saw black and blue. If you saw anything else, you're wrong. And I've been saving up for pack three, but I just keep going down and having to buy perks. So I can't even get it. Okay. Zombies. You guys gotta calm the fuck down. Oh, I had stamina up. That was the other perk I was missing. Felt like I was running a bit slower. But I'm gonna wait to get it. We need pack three. Because this isn't even like killing zombies in one shot right now. Well, it's killing some of them. Other ones are just knocking over. And we still need to get uh, five or more zombies in a single shot ten more times. We're at 40 right now. We need to get to 50. Actually, is there a crafting table up here? There is. Can I craft decoys yet? I can. Let's uh, toss a decoy down. Enjoy that. And eat one of these. Perfect. Oh, this is bad. 50 health, no armor. Joe, buy armor. Okay, maybe I forgot about it. Maybe I should do that. Sometimes there's just a lot going on, you know? And we're very close to pack three, so I do not plan on going down right now. Go to the decoy, zombies. Please. Use the game mechanic. Use another one. Idiots. Should have never listened to me. Yeah, let's get pack three. Bars, dude. I'm spitting today. That might be the only thing I've rhymed in this video, though. But we got full armor. We got this thing up to purple. And we got a pack three. Ooh, pack three is nice. We're actually doing damage again. This is crazy. Oh, there's our chemical camo. I, we're all done with those. So we don't need to kill multiple zombies in a single shot anymore. I think the only challenges we have to left to work on are... Uh, Pack a bunch of kills and then just normal kills. I wish we had like fully upgraded ring of fire right now just to be able to shoot like as many rockets as possible. Shooting rockets from reserve is crazy. Actually, I want to try to using a launcher on Orta. I don't remember if I did one before. Also, my blinds are cracked just the right amount. So my face is like split in two. I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to get tan in just one line straight down my face. All right, it might be time to pull out our uh, original plan for our strategy. Get all these zombies trained up over here. Then we climb the rope, turn around, and shoot them. Oh, we had an insta-kill? I'm instantly killed. That fucking sucks. All right, well, we got a tombstone. A good thing we spawned right here. Tombstone's been lucky today. I feel like most of the time I spawn on the other side of the map and with like 400 zombies in between me and where I gotta go. But I'm gonna need to buy that back right meow. And stamina up. Let's grab that. Stamina up and PhD because why not? I know PhD ain't gonna help us, but a little slide here and there ain't gonna hurt. You don't even get the extra like boost from a slide till you upgrade it either. It's really just a slide that does damage now. And honestly, with PhD slider, I feel like I've never really done too much damage just sliding into zombies. It happens like on accident. When I actually try to do it, I feel like I can't, like, initiate it. And I accidentally hit a nuke. It definitely was not an accident, but I wasn't thinking about it when I grabbed it. And I said we might be done with this by round 28, but we're only, like, at 1,000 kills right now, and we need 500 more. So a bit of a lofty goal. Eh, let's grab Deadshot. Why not? Does that even help with the RPG while it locked heads with this? I can dome some zombies. Not like that. Pause. Actually, does that make things worse for us? So I feel like I'm trying to aim towards the ground for most of these zombies and get splash damage. Eh, it looks like it's working. Oh, maybe not. This thing is still just not insta-killing zombies. Why is the RPG this bad? Honestly, I forgot how awful it was in multiplayer too until I, I went to go level it up. Because even when people don't have flak jacket, it still takes like maybe two rockets to kill them, which is ridiculous. At least it isn't as bad as it was like at launch. Because I remember when trying to get like the, the camos done for the RPG before they, they nerfed flak jacket, it was like four rockets to kill one person, which is insane. That's how it's feeling right now in zombies. This don't do shit. It's got to be like the weakest rocket launcher out there. Oh, and now I'm down. Yep. Fuck. This is probably the most I've ever used tombstone in my life. Okay. We need to play it a little safe here. And by that, I mean fucking just try it. Run. I didn't think I'd be able to get away with this many like tombstone revives. And let's get it right back. Oh, there's our thousand pack a bunch kills. We're just waiting on the 500 more. This thing is a sad excuse for a, a pack-a-punch three weapon. How weak it is. I shouldn't just be knocking zombies over. A combat bow should never be better than a fucking rocket-propelled grenade. So if there's one enemy left right over here and I don't see him. Where you at? You're not up here. I didn't see you down there. So I uh, guess I'll just be buying perks until you decide to uh, you know, despawn and respawn, buddy. What if I shoot into this window? No hit markers there. What about right here? Nothing. Who the fuck is this guy? What about Tesla Storm right at the wall? 
anything. I've never seen this happen before on this map. It happens all the time on Firebase C with that uh, mangler. But at least you can see the mangler and shoot it. This guy's just fully stuck. Well, I'm going to run all the way back to spawn. Actually, I got an idea. I was thinking, oh, maybe I might have to restart if this guy doesn't despawn. De I could probably just do the bunny Easter egg. There's the bunny's head. There's its like leg or arm or something. There's a uh, arm slash leg again. Actually, I might not be able to get all the parts because I don't have enough money to open a door to get the one. I'm soft locked in this game. I'm not quitting. I'll be more stubborn than this fucking bot is. Yeah, we just need like one more part, I think. Maybe two. Right there. Is that it? No, I still need one more. Is it right here? I think we got it. Let's go. Hopefully this fixes it. And we don't go down here because I can't rebuy tombstone from in here. So bunny, be nice to me. Oh, this counts as the dark ether? I just got uh, an achievement or something for getting kills in the dark ether. So this nightclub takes place here. So Maxis, when she's roaming around in the dark ether, like lost or whatever, could have just came to the club. It don't seem that bad there. And these do not even count for kills. So I'm just doing this so the rounds can reset and that spawn can reset oh the the round ended let's go we did it thank god all right let us up here bunny that was a good set see you later dude all right one two or three eeny meeny this one did we get anything good wait for it to turn gold even though i'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything we got nothing. Cool. Except to be able to continue our game. This is still a really cool like side Easter egg though. And it looks like rounds are resuming as normal. Okay. I'm glad I could clear that up for you game. We don't even need that many more kills. Probably like 200 more. Just get this done. Oh, there's our rotten camo. Okay. All of our normal kills are done. We just need pack a punch now. Oh, give me this insta kill. I need that. Okay, all zombies on the decoy right now. Take you guys out. This panzer needs to seriously fuck off. 25 health, 5 health. Got the decoy, stay away from me. Ooh, barely regened in time. Oh, there's gold viper. Let's go, baby. We got it done. Took us 33 rounds. And I went down immediately. You know what? We'll use tombstone and have our last hurrah. Suck a dick, zombies. Suck several cocks. Oh, that's game. All right, well, our final stats, 168,000 score, 1,668 eliminations, 23 crits, zero revives, and six downs. That was a fucking struggle. Now let's go see what our RPG looks like in game. All right, this is what our RPG looks like with Golden Viper on it. Honestly, this would be really nice because the coverage is really good, but it would be even better if they put it on the rocket. I don't care how expensive that would be to do, but or how unrealistic that would be to do, but this is a fucking video game. Give me a golden viper camo on the actual RPG. That would be sweet. Otherwise, pretty decent looking weapon. Well, there you have it. We got our RPG done. And honestly, that was a little more difficult than I was expecting it to be. Uh, even though I knew I was going into it without PhD, which would have made it miles and miles easier. I forgot just how far away you need to be from the zombies to not take any splash damage yourself. On top of that, just all the special and elites like hoarding you as you're throwing decoys out to get things. It just made this getting a lot more difficult than I thought. But we still got it done. So uh, if you want to see me do any other weapon challenge, whatever, I'll uh, leave it in the comments down below. Top comment will be the next thing that we do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching and all your love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.